Welcome back. After a long hiatus, the Environmental Court reopened before Chief Magistrate Joanne Ferguson Pratt today with 10 matters on the court's agenda. During the proceedings, 62-year-old rental property owner Jody Farrington pleaded guilty to failing to comply with Public Health Order Number 10 by having unsanitary conditions at her Bowes Avenue Montel Heights rental property. She also pleaded guilty to having inadequate water supply at the property and admitted that the premises were unsanitary. Lead prosecutor Marie Zancola Willie said that back in October of last year, a health inspector went to the property and noticed that there was an outside toilet, an accumulation of garbage and debris at the site. She said the health inspector also noticed that there were no toilet facilities and there was feces on the property which tenants had burned. The prosecutor said a public health order was issued and posted on the property on October 18th of last year, but when the health inspector returned to the site, he found that the environmental infractions still existed. Now, the penalty for count one, according to the court, $1,000 and a prison term of up to a year. The penalty for count two, $30 and $15 for each day the order was not complied with, while the third charge carries a fine of not exceeding $1,000. Now, the chief magistrate said she has zero tolerance for such environmental breaches, noting that the penalties are not commensurate with the modern Bahamas and must be looked into.